Hi, it's Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson. I'm here with Brandon Powell from the Accessories team. Brandon, welcome. Thank you. I want to talk to you about what your team does before we kind of get into the, the cool stuff sitting in front of us. You guys work with all of our third-party accessory uh, manufacturers, right? Yep. We run the partner development program for Xbox, helping our partners bring great products to the platform. Now, what, do you, what have you and your team done working with the platform to really innovate in, the, in this space? Yeah, to enable great accessories, we worked closely with the uh, console development team to ensure that we had all the building blocks needed to make this great. Um, first is, it's the first real innovation in force feedback. We're really excited about that. Um, really, force feedback's been done you know, for over 15 years in, in pretty much the same way across the industry. Um, what we've been able to do is work to build an entirely new way. Previously, you used to have some canned uh, forces that a developer could push down to the device to try to simulate the feeling that they wanted. Um, what we've done is we've developed a new way of doing that uh, using an equation language. Um, what that does is it means that a developer can push down things like RPM or ABS and the equation language will do the right thing and create those forces for them. It also gives them flexibility to define their own building blocks. It really delivers a level of precision that we just haven't had before. Now, how would some of these new features enable accessories for different experiences in other kinds of games? It used to be that uh, hardware had to fit into predefined categories, so you had things like controllers and racing wheels and so on. Um, what we've done is we've created a new level of modularity in the platform. So think about things like fight sticks. Um, a lot of fight sticks these days are customizable. You can actually move where the buttons are physically located. We can now communicate that directly up to the platform so that um, your favorite configuration is communicated to the game and you get to play the way that you want to play. So it's not just button remapping, there's something else going on there. So yeah, in addition, um, we have, uh, going back to that modularity point, there's additional components can be added over time. So think about on your racing wheel, you can add things like different shifter configurations. You can add different pedal types. Uh, you can add things like gauges. So think about your RPM gauge or your speedometer or things like that. One of the things that uh, gamers are concerned with is controller pairing. How does that work with, like for instance, with these devices? If you don't know what controller pairing is, controller pairing is connect uh, being able to see the hardware and mapping the right hardware to the right player. So when I'm taking my turn, when I'm done, I slide the wheel over, you get behind it, and now it immediately maps the right controller to the right person. Seamless, it just works. Now, you brought a couple of wheels here today, so let's, let's dive in here and take a look. Explain what we have in front of us. Yeah, let's start with the Thrustmaster 458 Italia. A couple of things going on here. Number one, clearly it's a one-to-one -one mapping of that classic 458 Italia wheel, um, which fans just love. Uh, it's got sequential gear shifters, has metal pedals. This is a fantastic wheel. It also has brushless motors, um, which one, means it's very quiet, so you really feel the precision of the force feedback in it. Uh, and two, it consumes a lot less power, so the power supply is actually embedded inside, so you have a very small cable. All right, and over here, Brandon, we have the Mad Cat's wheel. Yeah, when you look at the Mad Cat's wheel, a couple things you can see right away. Number one, the very small size, you can start to get a sense of that modularity that we talked about. This wheel you can buy in a bunch of different configurations, uh, so you get the configuration that's right for you, and you can add on over time. Uh, the wheel is swappable, so when you want to do F1 racing or GT racing, whatever your favorite racing style is, you're going to be able to buy wheels that map to that, that just style. Slide right in here. Plug right Instead in. of a whole new unit, you just exactly. buy the wheel itself. So you make that initial investment and then just add the pieces you want over time. And when you look at the, the pedal set, it actually looks like a cockpit. It has a level of adjustability that we haven't seen in pedals before. You can actually adjust the width between the pedals, you can adjust the pedal throw, you can change out springs for the amount of dampening that it gives for the, for the actual resistance. It feels fantastic, we're really excited. Now these are some serious kit, but I've seen a lot of questions about Xbox 360 wheels and Xbox One. These are just for Xbox One. That's correct. What's the story with Xbox 360 wheels working with Xbox One? Yeah, we started at the top talking about the level of innovation that we've done in this platform. And um, with that level of innovation means some things aren't going to function going forward. Um, when we think about things like the, the controller pairing and we think about the level of force feedback changes, unfortunately the Xbox 360 wheels are not compatible with Xbox One, um, but the, the level of, of definition and performance that you get out of the Xbox One wheels is amazing. Brandon, are there any other accessories that racing fans should know about? Beyond the racing wheels themselves, we also have the Polk N1 soundbar coming out this fall. It actually has a Forza racing mode specifically designed with the Forza audio engineering team to really put you at the center of the action and highlight uh, where those sounds should be on racing experiences. So when you're playing Forza and, and other great racing games, uh, you're really going to feel like you're in that car, in that race, having that experience. What are you and the team most proud of? I'd say the, the level of flexibility in the system. We've now given hardware developers the ability to do things they've never been able to do before. That helps put the driver at the center of the experience and is going to enable the best racing uh, of any platform. So this is, this is just the beginning of the accessory stories on Xbox One, right? We've got a lot more to come. Great. Thank you very much, Brandon.